What's up, y'all? It's your boy Showtime Doctor. I wanted to share with you guys uh, one of the PvP records I had where I lost. This is going to effectively be a really good effective defense for you to build towards on your PvP defenses that you set up. Uh, now, number one, I wanted to say that at this point in time, I think this was like day three or four, I was number two on the server for almost everything except for Viral Destiny. And so I was level 27 at the time. And there are two, two losses I had here. One of them is Nimi Coco, which we're going to get into. But the second one was Petra. Petra just straight whooped me with uh, range, a whole lot of range, and I think one melee. Now, in both cases, like I'm telling you, I was level 27. And I was the second basically most progressed person on the server at the time. So I'm pretty sure, because I know who the first progressed person was, and they were like two levels ahead of me. So I'm pretty sure this has to be either some type of like GM or like some type of auto defense or something set up for both of these that are my losses. But nonetheless, they were both really effective. So I got one on video I wanted to go ahead and show you guys. Go ahead and do that. So, this is generally how it go in, and I had not seen AoE towers before. So I was thinking, oh, okay, it's not that huge a deal. Why well, I didn't notice in turn one they had put the little AoE damage thing down. So even though I'm putting up all my damage reduction and attack buffs. <laughs> this account has seven levels on me. So I can't really one-shot. What I should have done was actually focus Dantaline over there, but mistakes were made. So the cool thing about these towers is you could probably actually put them one or two squares back because they have a range upgrade at rank two. So Candlelight, I actually am not sure if that's Candlelight, but you see the damage it's doing. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I was like, okay, we're not going through the bridge. I was going to try to go around. Now I effectively blockaded with Cole there, and I was just going to jump over. And you'll see what ends up happening to me there. But so my secondary plan was going to be take the healer, bait as long as I can. And then while they're distracted, go and destroy their buildings. We hitting hard. Yeah, I was trying my best to kill him and I couldn't. That healer right there is very effective. Uh, that's going to be pretty much it for Cole soon. If they call on the right, not a big deal, technically, but him being there does slow me down. I did eventually handle him. Hi, Cole. And that was effectively my oh no <laughs> moment. I should have just kept going left with her. But you see, this isn't like a super complicated defense. It's two towers, a pretty strong front line, good healing. And two little barricades. Hello, well. <laughs> but you see, Angel's actually tanking pretty well over there. The towers at this point had split their aggro. I should have just kept going here, but I found it too good. I had to knock her in, but that's like basically the healer. I should have just kept going and I probably could have got the right flank. I was like, I can survive. And I forget that Stormbreaker always has like innate mobility issues. But like they said in Pirates of the Caribbean, she fell behind. <laughs>
But hey, mad props to Angel. She was tanking for a while here. Gonna all come to a head soon. If I'd have just like taken Cole up the left, I think I would have won this anyways. But alas. That healer's healer slash combat, she's so good. I'll we'll have to try building them on the new account. And now I was like, well, I can't do any damage because the freaking towers at AoE clearing everything. And I'm back. <laughs> But I'm gonna run out of turns here pretty soon. That's it. So, hope you guys saw that was pretty much a really crazy uh, tower build up. Now, to do that, those were rank three towers, so that gives the AoE towers a range upgrade. It's either two maximum, one minimum, or two minimum, one maximum range. And then the third upgrade is attack plus 20%. And you can have both of those if you're actually level 34. So there's something to look at. Of course, there's going to be many effective tower combinations, or excuse me, uh, just defenses in general for your territorial PvP battles. But just some food for thought. So something that beat me. I only lost three times in closed beta. So there you have it, y'all. Not every day can be a victory, but as long as you learn from it. We come back, we get stronger. You're defined by what you survive in many cases in life, so... I guess I should do my outro, huh? Yo, I'm Showtime Doctor! Support your boy! Hit like and subscribe for the content. Anyways, hope this video helps you out, and I'll see y'all again.